Check out the aphids on this Echeveria latte rose and all the flies. I think they're, are they feeding on the aphids? Why am I whispering? Because just in case they hear me. So there's even nuts emerging. Oopsie, sorry. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. But see, the minute it flowers, you have to watch out when they are flowering because that's the time when the aphids come. But uh, normally I remove the flower stem, but I'm trying to do a video of different pests. And so I'm saving the <laughs> flower stalk just to show you what it looks like. But then in the process, you get aphids like that. And there's some here that's been attacked by aphids. See these ones here as well? This, look at that. Ha! Oh, look at the aphids infestation. So, and yet, same plant, uh, this one in the bottom and that one up the top. Where are you? Brazen Beauty. So this is a baby from this one here. The mother doesn't have, or barely, a couple of uh, small aphids but do you have more there no so but the babies look this one only this one was another bracing beauty see there you go another are you bracing beauty oh no that's two the baker uh, so this two and three are you show me no that's a Frankie up there so these two are both bracing beauty one is aphid free or not really just a little bit there but it's so insignificant but that one look at all of them there see what i do with aphids is simple let's open the recycling bin and we'll take the so now i'm going to remove this okay one and then ah look at that So now, let's go spray that. And that will just dry up. We leave it to dry up. It's not ideal to spray them today because it's raining. But then anyway, I'm already doing the video. And this one too. So this is uh, Polydonis. You have to remove the leaves. Just remove the, not leaves, the flower stalk. There you go. Ionium's full of aphids or mold. Look, this is the first time I got mold. This is very interesting. <laughs> so that's mold. I'm not going to touch it, but uh, I just chop it off and throw it away. That's not a problem. So that's how I will treat that, even this one. But it's the inflorescence or the flowering part that's got that. So it's just a matter of chopping it off. My chocolate was infected with sooty mold so the black stuff you can see those black stuff okay this one here look that's just black stuff i already sprayed this as well a couple of days ago and if i touch it look no more so unfortunately so this is the aphids nectar that they see look there's still some aphids there so this one i'm still going to continue to spray and since this is an inflorescent or it's the flower stalk so if i want to propagate from the stem or the inflorescence <laughs> i will try and save this like what i just did i sprayed it just to show you but instances like this what i prefer to do is just cut them all off because there's no reason for the flower i'm not trying to save some seeds from this one so anything there you go chop 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 just to the level see that one is still got some sooty mold on it and down 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 or you can alternatively save this 
leaves will grow if you grow that but because I've got mold and there's still some aphids be left in that it's not I won't risk it I'll throw it away in this case waste not want not does not apply so anything that has sooty mold remove this one now oh this one looks kind of healthy and the top has got sooty mold so I'm just gonna go down to that level and chop off and I am going to save this oh hang on I just check I really want to save this and so I can show you what it will grow into or actually I don't know how it's gonna grow so so it's important for me to save this one that way we will know and I'm just gonna spray the whole lot so I'm spraying my hand and everything so this is like a sanitizer hand sanitizer basically that is safe for your succulents and okay this one here look I'm even putting it with my other fragile babies here <laughs> and the ones that I sprayed a couple of days ago look this I spray this and they're all looking good but the millibug is dead so sooty mold from the ionium look at that this is monocarpic this is ionium it's gonna die anyway so we might as well chop that off there's no reason why I should have the flower there so straight away with ionium chop their heads off okay and there's another baby over there that can this will produce more babies anyway so that into the bin and so as this one here chop everything else is good disinfect the hand and disinfect the stem and that other plant that was affected any plants that was affected so I've got my Carnihini or Sadivaria Butterfield my super donkey tail spray this is safe for even for my beautiful afterglow so once I've covered everything here just for good measure I'm just gonna spray the whole lot again I can be generous with this stuff because this is actually not that expensive so compared to the other solutions that you buy that's already pre-made so even my ionium here and also this babylon here has got some sooty mold from uh, the plant and again so if you rub that it's not going to come off you need to use dishwashing liquid and water to remove that I have my spray bottle here and so I'm using a dishwashing liquid any dishwashing liquid will do and I'll put about a tablespoon which is one squirt and then put some water halfway and then so I can just shake it and then top it up I let the bubbles run out replace the cap and we're ready to spray normally I would just leave this and let nature take its course to clean it all off or to remove it but if you have your plants or say this Echeveria babylon that I have here growing in the shade then chances are it's not going to get rained on and it will not get removed so I use the soapy water to just brush it off and you can see okay I'll spray some more that area there which is quite a fair big area to get covered with our sooty mold so by brushing it you can remove a lot of the sooty mold you're not going to remove everything because if you do remove everything that means you're going to have to scrub harder and which is not good for your succulents or my succulents in this case so I just like to do it lightly and whatever comes off comes off and whatever remains will just grow out of it
and because we have the likelihood of getting frost or some more frost coming what I like to do is just puff out the remaining water so it's not sitting on my succulent and also drying it out or otherwise the best way to dry this up is also by using my methyl solution by spraying it that will dry it up much much faster <laughs> 